this question deals with a 58 year old ma male with hematuria undergoes renal biopsy the biopsy findings are shown on the slide below so he has hematuria and biopsy what do we really see on biopsy we see that they're clear cells they are you know kind of uniform almost uniform cells um, they are polygonal in nature right point is from the picture it's quite obvious that this is renal cell carcinoma because it says renal biopsy as well so this is this is a classic picture of renal cell carcinoma so renal cell carcinoma usually originates from the PCT a proximal convoluted tubule right so the patient's lesion has most likely originated from proximal renal tubules I mean getting to the answer is not that difficult but let's talk about renal cell carcinoma in general so in renal cell carcinoma uh, the cell shape the cell shape is going to be cuboidal or polygonal there is going to be clear cytoplasm okay nuclei is going to be eccentric concentric means in the middle eccentric means kind of on the side right so they're going to have eccentric nuclei and there is going to be very little polymorphism what does that mean what does what does it mean that there is very little polymorphisms it, it means that even though it's a cancer the cells are similar in size and shape that's what it means the cells are similar in size and shape uh, nuclei are going to be small suggesting that the tumor is well differentiated okay nuclei is going to be small suggesting tumor is well differentiated what else are we going to see in renal cell carcinoma the cells are going to be filled with lipids and carbs okay carbohydrates and lipids are going to fill the cell some of the manifestation the patient is going to have is that they're going to have hematuria which this patient had where else do we see well we're going to see painless hematuria and painless hematuria is usually seen in renal cell carcinoma excuse me and also um, transitional cell carcinoma of the bladder we're gonna see painless hematuria anyways so they're gonna manifest as hematuria there is going to be a palpable mass on physical exam there is going to be secondary polycythemia there is going to be flank pain fever weight loss weight loss happens with a lot of cancer okay so these are some of the things we're going to see as manifestations metastasis let's talk about metastasis where does renal cell carcinoma metastasize the most common site of metastasis is going to be lung other sites of metastasis is also going to be bone but the most common is predominantly lungs okay now what about risk factors some of the risk factors of renal cell carcinoma is going to be obesity and smoking other risk factors but not really risk factors I would say association we're going to be seeing that von hippel landau has association with renal cell carcinoma. von hippel landau has chromosomal abnormality at chromosomal 3P. Gene deletion in chromosome 3P gives rise to von hippel landau and one of the manifestations is going to be renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma is also associated with perineoplastic syndrome. So we are going to see production of APO, ACTH, PTH, and prolactin all these can be expected uh, from a renal cell carcinoma in this question though they asked where does this uh, where does the renal cell carcinoma originate from and that is going to be our proximal convoluted tubule now let's look at some of the other options what about blood vessels choice a well the thing is renal cell carcinoma does not arise from blood vessels because it arises from PCT so that is not a viable option what about glomeruli again which part of the glomeruli it is from the PCT that it originates from so we have a better answer choice C is a better answer than glomeruli choice D it does not arise from collecting ducts if it arises from proximal convoluted tubule but what cancer does arise from collecting ducts those are called renal oncocytomas okay onco 
cytomas. These uh, cancer or these tumors are very rare and they originate from the collecting duct system. Okay, And then we have uh, renal pelvis lining. Obviously since we talked about um, we talked about that it originates from PCT, it does not uh, originate from the renal pelvis lining. The only thing is that the collecting duct, um, these cancers, the oncocytomas, are going to be polygonal, just like renal cell carcinoma, with lots of mitochondria. That's a distinct difference. There's going to be lots of mitochondria in oncocytomas.